Should I? I don't know. You should stand up here. <laughs> you can stand next to each other though. If you really like. Pretend you like each other. Yeah, yeah oh, that, like that's you like what each I other. always say. Pretend you like you each other. You stand on that side, I'll stand on this side. It's not a lot of pretending on a wedding day, I know that. <laughs> well, this is an exciting day. This is the best day of your life because you get to leave here married to each other. Not only are you going to be married to each other, you're going to be married to the most amazing oh. woman you've ever met, too. And you get to spend the rest of your life knowing somebody thinks you're pretty amazing and that that's the person you're, you're living with and loving and and traveling on this really incredible journey as husband and wife. And it's so great you brought friends. <laughs> family. Family and, and friends. Is that how it how This is uh, our brother-in-law. Yeah. That's, right, That's right, he's family. That's right, he's family. family. He's family. All family. <laughs> it's all family. All family. And, and you might like them, too, so they can be <laughs> friends as well. Yeah. But it, that's a really great thing. You have people mm -hmm. here to um, celebrate with you because they have a stake in who the two of you are together, mm -hmm. who they are. Uh, the two of you together affect who they are. And so they're here to celebrate with you, to party with you, to do whatever you're going to do with you and, and jump up and down and, and just be happy with you today. But their presence here also shows you that you've got people who have seen you two together and who believe in you and who want to um, offer their symbolic support and their blessing and their love to let you know that no matter what life throws at you, uh, will have moments alone, but you're not alone on this journey. You are surrounded by a community of love. And, uh, how better can you spend this journey? Well, before we do anything more, Tony, I need to ask you, do you take Danielle to be your wife, your partner in life, your friend, and your mate, and do you promise to love her all the days of your life? Danielle, do you take Tony to be your husband, your partner in life, your friend, and your mate, and do you promise to created in marriage, because marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. It's a joining this promise for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, occasionally even there may come a time when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love for the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly, but it passes away much more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life new experiences and new ways of expressing love through all the seasons of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit that is unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise. It's a potential made in the hearts of two people who love, and it takes a lifetime to fulfill. A lifetime to you. To fulfill this love that you have for each other. A lifetime ahead of you for your love to just grow for each other. They say there's little things that make a big difference in life. Things like remembering you're never going to be too old for parents. You can be too, um, you're going to grow old together. So be one of those older, older couples that walk down the street holding hands. You know how cute that is. <laughs> be a cute older couple. Right at their hand. Uh, say I love you a lot, even if there's days you don't feel very loving. Say it on those days too. And you know those days happen. <laughs> they always happen because your love for each other is your choice and how you want to live each other too, not just your feelings. Try not to go to sleep angry. <laughs> it's hard. hard thing, but we oh, it is a hard thing. It is a really hard thing. But you know how important it is. You know what? To carry yesterday's baggage into today. You know? um, surround yourself with people like this who are going to love you and support love you. Love. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's always good to have people there who love you. Um, have the things you share in common, but also give each other so you don't get lost in each other's shadow. Yeah. Um, another hard one, don't expect each other to be perfect. You may not have figured that out yet. You're not marrying somebody who's perfect. And the nice thing is you don't have to be perfect when, you're, when you love someone. You get to make mistakes, and humans make mistakes. So laugh a lot. I have a feeling you two do not. <laughs> 
wedding vows. I have you look at each other and hold hands. We're going to let Tony go first today, but after you leave here, tell him you get to go first the rest of your life. Okay. <laughs> Tony, look at Danielle and repeat after me. I, Tony, take you, Danielle, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Can you do this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, Danielle, take you, Tony. I, Danielle, take you, Tony. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. May I see your ring box? <laughs> in my purse. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> I see your ring box. I will be careful not to touch the candy part. Oh. I don't want to make sure they weren't well, crushed. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, who gets which one? She gets the one. Okay. Well, rings, wedding rings are very beautiful symbols of love, and these are especially beautiful. Um, well, there's a lot of things about wedding rings that uh, are symbolic. <laughs> these are symbolic of the sweetness of your love and, and your colors. Um, with wedding rings, um, often you wear them with pride because you've made this covenant with the most important person ever, and so they remind you of your vows, they remind you of the covenant that you have with they remind you of the love you're giving and receiving. They're also um, the shape of a circle, and you've got a circle. Right? <laughs> this circle is wonderful because there is no break at all in it. It is no, no beginning, no end. It's a perfect shape. That although you don't get to be perfect, your love is perfect. Like these. I can't help it walk. It's alright. And they represent a love that's eternal. They also, um, there, there are no breaks in them, as I said, there's no breaks in your love. There's no way anything will ever break the two of you apart. Um, you can eat way out of it. <laughs> and it won't break you apart. Um, but the most important thing is, is wedding rings, are, I'm going to say they're beautiful and gorgeous, because they are, and, and sweet and delicious. And they, what, they, what that reminds you, with these especially, you get a pretty sweet <laughs> we got real ones coming soon. So. Yeah, the, the real ones that you um, are getting have, um, they're going to be made out of beautiful, precious materials. And the really wonderful thing about that is that we wanted you not only do you have this strong, eternal love between you, but that love you have between you is the most beautiful, precious thing you'll ever have. So when you put them on each other, just be reminded of your vows and be reminded that you are pretty beautiful and precious to each other. So I'm going to have you put this on your beautiful bride's finger right now and tell her that this ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Put that on, on Tony now. Yes. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. These are adorable. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to share with you is a wedding blessing.
May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement a marriage should bring. May life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness, but to help you know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. A valley doesn't make a mountain less, but more. And a valley is more valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So maybe with the May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out encircle one another. May you succeed in all the important ways with one another, and not fail at the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take that first step back. May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence. No more physical than spiritual. Warm and near when you're side by side. Warm and near when you're in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it in making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. So you have stated your intention to take each other's husband and wife. You've pledged your lifelong love to each other in the form of the vows. you sealed the vows by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of red pops. <coughs> it is my privilege to let you know that you are husband and wife. When God is joined together, let no one ever separate. It is the bride. <laughs> I'd like to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Slattery. Yay! Yay. I'm going to sign your license. 